Baby, to me you're like a kiss from a rose on a grave. Ooh, the more I get of you, the stranger it feels, yeah. And now that you're the roses in bloom, the light hit. Bigot was singing that on his stream. That's one of my favorite songs. However, I am a straight man. But I think every straight man has a, 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 a homosexual song that they like. Yeah. It's weird. Oh, you guys didn't see that. That's not me coming out of the closet. Oh, today we are cooking the other white meat. The meat that gets a bad rap. We cooking motherfuck pork chops tonight. Join me on the adventure, shall y'all? Now, now, today, it might swear that he is our man. It's just no good as a motherfucker. The motherfucker's got a dirty mouth. But burn my motherfucking biscuit. Cause he's the greatest shit from the south. You take that greasy and put it over your fucking gravy. He's always got something. Your fucking gravy. Cause he's always been talking that trash. I wish you motherfuckers would smell this shit. It's easy to say shit. Okay, so for this recipe, you definitely gonna need the pork chop. That's the uh, number one ingredient. These are the thin cut breakfast pork chop. This was three dollars and seventy five cent. This meal is not very expensive to make for your family, unless you have a family of eight motherfuckers. Then it gets kind of expensive. You gonna need some heavy cream. You're gonna need some, some white wine. I like a sweet white wine for this recipe. You can also, if you don't wanna use the wine, you can use uh, apple juice. My son drank all the apple juice, but the wine works good too because it adds a little acidity back in there. You're gonna need some beef flavored stock, some uh, beef bouillon. I'm using that sample again, but you can you can pick up this up the stove. You got a, a yellow onion, some chopped garlic, a Granny Smith apple, and uh, some type of seasoning. I'm trying tonight. I'm trying this one, the roasted garlic pepper. Uh, just a uh, pretty much a generic seasoning because the se the flavor is all going to be in the sauce here. We got them pork chops seasoned up here. I got my skillet over here going. We about to cook this shit down. I'm going to show you how. Get in there and fry like bacon, you, 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 you damn motherfucking, uh, 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 pig. Now when them pork chops get done searing each side, we're going to drain the extra, uh, the, I use canola oil. We're going to drain that off. You don't want all that grease in your sauce, okay? And should I even say, these motherfuckers smell good as a motherfucker. Okay, so at this point, I got good color, and these pork chops are about cooked all the way through. So I'm pull them off here so we can make our sauce. Okay, we pour off that extra grease. We leave them pan dripping in there because I want that for the sauce. Now we're going to saute our onion and our apple and our garlic. The next thing we're going to do, I put off all the grease, so I'm going to put just a little bit of butter to richen this up a little bit, okay? Just a little bit. And this is the messy ass fucking process. It's splatter grease everywhere, so make sure you're the one cleaning the kitchen and not your old lady. She'd be pissed off as a motherfucker you make this. Okay, so I just put a little pat of butter in there to put all the grease off. We need a little bit of oil or fat in there to put this shit caramelize. Now that's, the onions and the apples are pulling off the pan drippings already. And the white wine is going to pull the rest of them drippings off the bottom of this pan here. 
Okay, so we didn't want our garlic to burn there, so we're gonna put a little garlic in now. We don't put it right in the beginning, or it'll it'll crisp up on you too much. Oh man, the smell come off there, them apples and all. Mmm, delicious. What a damn mess them damn pork chop make. Look at all the splatter on my damn stove. I'm gonna have to have a, a, a gallon of bleach clean this shit up. Okay, now it's time to add that wine in there. There we go. Get all that caramelization off them pork chops and them apples and onions. I think I just got drunk from these fumes. Yo ho, yo ho, a pirate's life for me. Fumes. Okay, so now we're gonna add a little bit of this, uh, this beef stock here, this beef base, to this dish. Give it its flavor. There we go. We're gonna let that melt into there. Then we're gonna add some cream to that. That's gonna be the apple normandy sauce. Okay, now it's time to add that cream. Oh yeah, and there's the apple normandy sauce. Now all we gotta do is put these chop back on here. A beautiful chop. We're gonna have pork chop apple normandy. Oh yeah, that's some beautiful shit. Now I'm gonna serve this over some just plain steamed rice. And it's not too bad for you because uh, you do have the cream in there and all, but you're eating it with rice and you ain't eating that much of the sauce. It's gonna be a little sauce on the pork chop itself, so it's good shit. Now that recipe is one I learned when I was a young lad, uh, working in the, uh, the Double Tree Hotel, um, 24 years ago now, yeah, 24 years ago. Uh, it was one of the first recipes I learned from the German chef, it's a, a, a classic uh, dish there, and uh, very tasty, and it's definitely a wintertime uh, top meal. And it's getting cold again in the next three days here, so I figured, yeah, why not make a wintertime meal one more time, and then it'll be time for spring and summer and lighter eating all the time. Thank you for joining me today, and you motherfuckers have a good day. Now, now, today. I, I, I must declare, I just taste some of that shit. The shit is unfucking believable. You need to make some at your house. <laughs>